Two inspiring stories just happened on social media. One for my brother and one for my friend. You have got to hear them. Story number one. My brother shared a 30 second clip on Twitter. The video was of Alex Ovechkin, arguably the best player in the NHL. As the Washington Capitals were walking off the ice, there was a young boy in a wheelchair waiting to fist pump every single player. Most players, as they were walking out, they looked down at the kid, gave him a little fist pump and walked on. But then Ovi passed by. And not just did he bend down to this kid, but without thinking about it, he took the hockey stick in his hand and he gave it right to this boy in his wheelchair. You've got to see the expression on this kid's face. His life was just made. The story blew up on social media. It had 51,000 retweets, including many celebrities, 283,000 likes, and 7.7 million video views. Story number two. My friend Rabbi Yossi Golden was traveling to the U.S. From Israel to the U.S. to recruit for his seminary, Midrash Torah Chesed. He flies to the U.S. once a year to recruit, and this year he flew just a bit early because his wife was going into her ninth month of pregnancy. He lands in New York, and he gets a call a little while later from his wife. She went into labor. So he runs back to the airport, tries to get the next flight out, and gets on the 11.05 flight from JFK back to Tel Aviv. At this point, a few hours going to the flight, there's absolutely no Wi-Fi, no phone, no ability for him to know what's going on with his wife and how she's doing. So a couple hours into the flight, he asked the stewardess, excuse me, ma'am, can you please somehow, somewhere, maybe, any Wi-Fi to check how my wife is doing? She's in labor. Not on this plane, but she's in labor. Can you please help me find out? The stewardess says, I'm sorry, sir. There's absolutely no Wi-Fi, no chance for me to check, but let me take the information. I'll see what I could do. 10 minutes later, Rabbi Golden is then wrapped up with his Talit and Tefillin. He's praying, not sure what else to do. And the woman comes back with a smile on her face, with a cup of wine and some chocolates, and says, Mazel Tov. You just had a baby boy. So what happened? The pilot had called his wife from his cell phone in the cockpit to ask how she's doing. She was able to update the pilot with the exciting news and the stewardess was able to come back to my friend and give him that positive information. Now my friend doesn't really post on social media. It's not his thing. But he took his personal quiet nice Facebook account to share this inspiring story and to share his appreciation for that stewardess and to LL. That story also blew up. In his own unique way, that got 11 thousand likes on Facebook. A tremendous amount of positive comments. Not only that, but Israeli TV invited the LL stewardess and my friend to share their story to the entire country. These two stories share one powerful theme, sharing positivity on social media. Clearly these two stories work. They both went viral. I beg you, instead of just sharing pictures of food, of vacations, and of selfies, let's please take the opportunity to share messages of inspiration, to share messages of positivity, and thereby make the world a much more positive place to be.